So we want to do a bit of color management and color grading. Today we're taking a look at how to do that. Hey guys, welcome back to Tets by Kai. I'm Kai and today we are back in Blender 2.8 once again. And uh, I got this model that we used once before uh, from 3dscans.com. I'll leave a link down in the description as always. Um, today we're looking at some color. You can see down here if I go to the render tab, I'm in the render tab right now. We can scroll on down to color management and in color management there is a view transform button and we have default, filmic, RTT, film, raw, log and all this stuff. And this stuff is really great for post processing effects. Right now I have it on the log uh, view transform preset. We can go to default. We can also go to filmic, R RT, film, raw, log and of course the one no one ever wants to use false color <laughs> uh but my fa my personal favorite is uh, is film 100 uh, percent. we can also go ahead and change the exposure which is really really pretty cool we have like a heavenly kind of glow and then we can change the gamma as well which is nice um, and we can also change the uh the look of the actual uh film itself and we have a bunch of different camera we have ooh, we have a bunch of different camera presets here, uh, Kodak, uh, 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 Fujifilm, uh, and all this uh, amazing things. Canon, we have all these different presets here to get a couple different color presets, which is really, really, really neat. So we can go ahead and go to default, and I can just change the look uh, to more specific uh, things here, which is just really, really cool. So, um, so yeah, this helps a lot when doing the, the, the post-processing for a specific... Uh, for a specific scene or specific shot, it helps a lot instead of having to go into, you know, GIMP or Photoshop or whatever you're using and change the color and do a little bit of post-processing color there or maybe in the node editor. It's much easier just to have this here, which is really, really nice uh, to be able to have. So that is going to be it for today's tutorial. Um, just a really quick one telling you guys, hey, go ahead and check out this um Go ahead and take a look at the color management because it definitely helps a lot when doing the post-processing for your scene. I've used it in almost every single tutorial we've done lately, um, and it, it's coming out really great, and everything uh, everything always looks so much better once you use that color management uh, tool right there, especially once you mix it with uh, all of the new uh, uh, settings we have in the render tab, you know, the screen space reflection, subsurface scattering, bloom, I mean, occlusion, volumetric lighting, and things like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know down in the comment section what you want to see in the future. I'm loving Blender 2.8 so far. Um, it's great. Can't wait for its release. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial, but until then, bye-bye. Thank you.